My friends, you and I were nine centered humans, but we're nine centered humans in transitus. What this means is that we still have this old seven centered consciousness. And we're going to have a lot more on that in the homework for assignment video for this week that I'm going to give you. But when it comes to the human design system, the key to understanding how you're here to be awake and aware and alive as yourself, a witness to this life that you're living, the key lies in the Ashna. So there's going to be a video assignment where I, I, I give you the basis for understanding how the Ashna is the key to waking up. Now, when we look at our human design body graph, our centers are going to be either defined or undefined. They always have a binary fun functioning, a yin versus yang. All right. So there's always going to be defined or undefined, and they're going to be healthy or not healthy as far as the expression of how that life force is lived through your life experience. So I'm going to do my best to make sure that you are recognizing really how this shows up for you. So when we look at the definition and the design definition, when they're transmitting, the centers in the design are colored in, when they're transmitting, they can either express themselves in a healthy way, or they can express themselves in an unhealthy way. Okay, same thing too, on the other side here, we see receiving those that are undefined or open centers when they're not colored in, they can be healthy taking in receiving, or they can be unhealthy when they're taking in. And where we find the health versus unhealth is in the action that arises from the life experience that you're living. So in an example, let's say I'm an undefined heart center, 65% of the population is, and I'm around somebody with a defined heart center. So the unhealthy state of a defined heart center is going to be somebody who's running around trying to pressure everybody to prove themselves. And the unhealthy state of the undefined heart center is going to be somebody running around trying to prove themselves to somebody, others, and somebody, especially those who have the defined heart center. So that becomes um, overcompensation. Yeah. And then you put all kinds of damage on or pressure on your systems of the body that correlate biologically to your heart center. For example, the 21 is about the heart muscle itself. The 40 is the stomach. The 51 is the gallbladder. The 26 is the thymus gland, therefore your immune system. So when we have that defined or undefined, we can have it in a healthy or an unhealthy state. I don't want you to look at a body graph and see undefined, not healthy, not self. That is not true. Okay, so just to dispel that myth right there. This is not your not self in the undefined centers. This is your wisdom potential and this is where you receive life. Okay, hopefully that's very, very clear. Now to add on to that, gates can be conscious or unconscious. They can be conscious or unconscious out of an active center when they're colored in, and they can be conscious or unconscious out of a dormant center when the center itself is not colored in. And what is creating the colored in, the life force, the channel, is two gates, two planets, in relationship to each other across the way in that same channel. We call them harmonic gates. So the 61 is harmonic to the 24. The 24 is harmonic to 61. I'm, I'm giving you a review, hopefully, of some uh, terminology that I want you to be very comfortable with so that we can speak the same language as we go through this. So now why are you in not self? Why are you fr bitter, frustrated, angry, or disappointed? What happens is your mind, your conditioned thinking mind, the mind that thinks, therefore it thinks it is, the mind inside of your head, it's identification with conditioning. So anything that's coming in, that's influencing it in an unhealthy way, where you use that conditioning to make decisions will lead to the creation of the conditioned not self behavior, the adaptive strategies of running around trying to prove yourself, and so forth and so on. 
Okay, so it's not the openness that creates not self. It's your mind making a decision based on the openness. And bitterness comes from your projected channels. Frustration comes from your generated channels. Anger comes from your manifested channels. Disappointment comes from your reflector channels. So, my friends, look down at your body graph. Who here does not have a reflector channel? I can imagine, I can't imagine anyone not having a reflector channel. I don't even think it's possible because we all have reflector channels. We all have aspects of everything in this body graph. You have everything in the body graph. There is no place that you don't have. You have everything. It's just that it's either going to be in a receptive state in the dormant potential or it's going to be defined. Okay, so we want to get really clear. Everyone has everything in the body graph. And the signposts of not self comes from the definition, bitter, frustrated, angry, or lack thereof, okay, in the body graph. If you've got a totally open chart, meaning you're a reflector chart, no colored in centers, the disappointment is coming from the open channels. Now, underneath... The way the mind, your conscious thinking mind, frames decision-making is your not-self strategy. The not-self strategies of the open center and something more. Something more as far as the way that your mind frames how you take in life. And we'll talk about more about that in this course. So in the not-self conditioning field, there is a potential for wisdom. Your wisdom potential comes from open centers, open channels, open gates. That represents your outer authority, how you can take in, measure, and compare what you're seeing in the outside world, how you can align to sharing your differentiated, unique perspective. All of us are here to do so. So with your true self behavior, operating in alignment to your design, your type, strategy, and authority, when that happens, open centers are not blind genetic imperatives. When you're aware of the thoughts you're thinking inside of your, your head about yourself coming from a conditioned place, now you can question that thought. And this is what I want to give you. If you haven't been through my LYD, I want to give you this tool. From now on, from this moment forth, I want you to recognize the voice inside of your head as my mind thinks, not I think. Can you do that for me? Do your best to reframe my mind thinks this. Okay? And watch your body instead. My body's doing this. When my mind thinks this, I'm not good enough, nobody loves me, my body feels this. I want you to see the impact your mind, conditioned mind, has on your body because that's part of the waking up phase it's to align to disassociating from the thoughts that are conditioned inside of your head about yourself as truth they are not true they are conditioning 